If you've clicked on this video, then there's a high probability that you have already applied and have been accepted to study for your master's or bachelor's in Germany and now you only need to apply for a student visa. To make things just that bit easier for you, here are the 11 requirements that you will need to have in order to apply for your German student visa. Make sure you watch to the end as throughout the video I give tips and tricks I wish someone had told me when I was applying for my student visa. The first requirement on the list for today is this guy right here, your passport. This, in my opinion, is the most important document that you need when traveling outside your home nation. The only advice that I would give when planning to study abroad is to apply for your passport as early as possible. Like even before you apply for your bachelor's or master's program, because in some countries, like mine, it can take weeks, if not months, to get one. Now, hundreds of Kenyans planning to travel to the country are stranded as the passport issuance crisis deepens. Despite assurances by Nigeria Cabinet Secretary Professor Kithiri Kindiki that the process will be fixed, delays in issuance of the document has grounded those intended to travel abroad for medical, business or education purposes. Remember, processing the visa alone takes about four weeks. That is, if you're lucky, mine literally took seven. The last thing you would want to have is to wait for another two months for your passport to come out so that you can apply for your visa. This could literally prevent you from starting your master's program or bachelor's program on time with the rest of your classmates. Financing studies abroad is always the biggest hurdle for students simply because it's really expensive. But... One of the benefits of studying in Germany is that many universities still offer tuition-free programs to this day. I know, right? Crazy. The only downside is that you still have to pay for your own monthly expenses such as food and rent. In order to get a German student visa, you will need to prove that you have adequate funds to support yourself in Germany and this is done in one of three ways. The first way is through a scholarship from an institution such as the DAAD. Alternatively, someone with permanent residence in Germany can guarantee the Aliens Registration Office to cover your expenses while you study here in Germany. And finally, the most common way to finance your studies here in Germany is through the blocked account method. Let me know in the comment section down below if I should make a video that explains more about blocked accounts. And just in case you need a good recommendation for a company here in Germany, which I have personally used, check out the link in the description below. The company is called Fintiba. One of the most important requirements on your list is your health insurance. And you will need a total of two types of health insurances when you're planning to come to Germany for the first time. Before I actually tell you what those two types of health insurances are. Number one is health insurance or Krankenversicherung. It's mandatory to be frank. And you actually need it already to come to Germany. You need it if you need a visa, you need it for your visa. If you don't need a visa, make sure you get it because it's illegal to not have one. Before we continue with this video, a huge thank you to these two, Jan and Yvonne. You guys are simply the best. I have learned so much from you people and I highly appreciate your content. Now, back to the video. The first health insurance is your travel health insurance also known as proof of incoming health insurance. This health insurance is only valid for the first 90 days that you will spend in Germany as you're settling into your new life until your general health insurance activates. Then, there's your general health insurance which covers you beyond those first 90 days until the time you stop being a resident here in Germany. One important thing to note is that if you are above the age of 30 years, you have the option to choose between private and public health insurance. But 
if you're below 30 years old, you are forced to select the more expensive public health insurance. Because you would need to apply for both your travel health insurance and your general health insurance before applying for a visa to come to Germany, I would recommend that you check out the link in the description below. The company is called Fintiba and they have a package called Fintiba Plus where you get the blocked account plus the two health insurances that we have just talked about in this video. Just a disclaimer, I am not sponsored by Fintiba. I just used their product when I was applying for my German student visa and had no issues with them whatsoever. The next requirement that you will need in order to apply for a student visa here in Germany is two copies of correctly filled application forms. Emphasis on two and correctly filled. Try as much as possible to ensure that every piece of information that you give is correct because they will background check it. If by chance you need a step-by-step -step guide on filling this application form, kindly let me know in the comment section down below and I'll make a video about it. Just like the application forms, you will also need two current passport size photos. The only key thing here to note is that it has to be on a white background. Number six is pretty self-explanatory. In order to apply for a German student visa, you need to have already applied and be accepted to a school of higher learning in Germany, such as a university. My only advice when it comes to university applications is to start the process as early as possible. At least six months before the semester is supposed to begin because sometimes, especially here in Germany, it can take public universities more than three months just to get an outcome of the application from the university that you applied to. If by chance you're still in the process of searching for a master's or a bachelor's program here in Germany, I've made a video talking about a website that I used to find the master's program that I am currently pursuing here in Germany. Link in the description down below. Next, you want to make sure that you have original and copies of all your existing academic documents such as your bachelor's degree and transcripts, other master's programs that you may have completed, your high school diploma, and any other relevant certifications that you may have done before. This step should be pretty easy and straightforward because it's literally the same set of documents that you use to apply for your master's program. Just ensure that on the day of your visa appointment at the German embassy, you carry the originals and two photocopies of all the documents that you plan to submit. After that, you'll also need to submit two copies of your CV. And in my case, when I was applying for my visa, I had to write my CV in German. I don't know if the rules have changed of late, whether you can also write it in English. So what I would advise is that you check the German embassy website for more information on what language your CV should be written in. If you would like guidance on creating a CV, well, you're in luck because I have already made a video talking about a particular website that I used to personally create the CV that got me into my current master's program. Link in the description down below. Unfortunately, the requirements don't end there. After writing your CV, you'll also be required to come up with a letter of motivation that simply explains why do you want to study here in Germany. If you already have an admission letter from a university here in Germany, then there's a high probability that you had to write a letter of motivation in order to gain admission into that university. All you need to do is take that same letter and adjust it slightly and focus on why you are choosing Germany as a country to study in. When writing your letter of motivation, try to be as convincing as possible. 
and here's a pro tip make sure you mention that you plan to go back to your home country after you're done with your studies i don't really want to get into the details of why but just trust me it's very important that you mention this The proof of language requirement is highly dependent on the individual. For example, if you're going to study in English and your previous bachelor's or master's programs were also taught in English, then you don't need to provide any proof of language certificate. But in case you're coming to Germany to study a program taught in German, you will need to prove that you're fluent in the German language since it's not your mother tongue. And the only way to provide this proof is from a certificate probably from the Goethe Institute. I think I've butchered that name but anyway. And finally, the last requirement is the visa fees, specifically for the German embassy in Nairobi, Kenya. They charge 75 euro but it is preferred that you pay in cash and in Kenya shillings. I guess that's it for the video, but you can always check out the official German embassy for your respective country to do a double check on any of the 11 points that I have mentioned here today. That's all from me. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment and let me know if you've enjoyed the video. See you later. Bye bye.